<laughs> oh, wow. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Hi. It's Bella, and we are here today with some special guests. We have everybody knows Melissa. Say hi, Melissa. Hello. Hello. And hi, Melissa, Melissa has a special guest. She has a special guest from her podcast that she's done. Um, would you like to introduce your guest? Yes. Uh, what is your name tonight? Are you Tina? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, you can call me Tina. You can call me Venus. You can call me Demonatrix. Just <laughs> don't call me late for dinner. Oh, I'll just call you <laughs> Tina. <laughs> <laughs> so today... Um, we are going to take a look at, well, let me step back. First of all, the podcast that they, um, that both Tina and Melissa were doing were, um, contained a lot of scary elements so much so that I was like freaked out with uh, jump scares and it was so much fun. But, um, what I loved the most, even though it was very gross was the readings of, from the books. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> but it was very entertaining. So today, um, today Tina is going to be showing off uh, some of her cool things that she has, and um, so we'll be able to put these up as videos. But then we'll also release it as um, a audio version to you. So therefore, if you want to see the actual things, you'll have to go to the YouTube version. But either way, I'm very excited to see um, what she got going because Melissa says. You got some pretty awesome stuff around the house. So, uh, well, some um, people call it awesome. <laughs> yes, some people call it gross. <laughs> <laughs> so, so are well, we going to have to describe these things? Well, <laughs> for yeah, audio listeners. It. Well, I guess. Okay, hold on. I'm going to start. Let me figure out how to do this without getting my big fat hand in the way. So, I'll start. I guess I can start on the bottom shelf. First, work your way up. First, let me. I don't know if you. Oh, can. that's awesome! Wow. So, where'd wow. you get that, dude? I got it for like eighty dollars off of Marketplace, and it's made from um, Wood? like heavy Solid. styrofoam, <laughs> and it was it was. Painted. Oh, it's it's styrofoam. Yeah, here's the heavy duty styrofoam. It was made for. Uh, some theater prop or something. I was. That's like, awesome. Know, fucking awesome, and I won't let David get rid of it. So we'll we'll, we'll just start mm -hmm. down here on the boring shelf, I guess you could call it that. The boring shelf. Um, what is a half human shelf. eyeballs? Uh, <laughs> what kind of I, furniture? I, I, so tell, we're looking tell me at. You guys can see what? Get your butt out of the way. Tell me what you can. Can you see what's in there? Oh. I see a scary uh, doll and a uh, figurine. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Is that Annabelle? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. She used to like, she used to, um, she used to do creepy shit. So is there a way? Maybe to that's when is you're there by yourself. Turn, like, can I turn my phone around and show you guys that way? Or I can just pull shit out and be like, uh, here's my skull. <laughs> <laughs> Here's an empty skull that had, uh, I don't know, some alcohol of some sort in it. It's um, empty now, though. I noticed. This little pocket right here. Right here, we just have, um, oh, God dang it, Willow. <laughs> we just have some <laughs> normal shit. Willow. Um, yes, Willow wants to be, come here. Uh, Willow has to be, she wants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. I'm not going to pull everything out, but some of it's interesting and some of it's just kind of, you know, when you live in Minnesota Ooh. and uh, you're out around on four wheelers, sometimes you find cool shit. What the fuck is that though? What is, it's a skull of what? It's like, I think it's a deer. I think it's a wildebeest. <laughs> it's a chupacabra. <laughs> it's a chupacabra. Yeah. Um, okay. This one um, has a little backstory to it. This one's really cool. So when we lived in Minnesota, David and I went to this little tiny podunk flea market. And there I found this thing. Hold on. Okay. In this box. Uh -huh. I was like, what is that? Well, 
It's some weird ass Tibetan. Hold on. Tibetan thing. Can you see in there? Kind of. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh my God. What the fuck is that? Ah! So it looks like a, an alien that's, that's mummified. It's with a dried a... up. With like a top knot Fetus. ponytail hair. <gasps> what what the it's a, hell it's a, is it's it? It's a reproduction of a dried up like ancient fetus from Thailand. Um, there's a little backstory in here. It, he came with a little toy. Um, <laughs> toy <laughs> scary. He came, with this, he came with this thing. Um, but he, here's his, here's his backstory. He's, <laughs> he's called the Kumon. I'm probably not saying this right. In fact, I could guarantee I'm not the Kumon Thong golden child. Um, Kumon Thong is a ghost of a baby boy who was, uh, bound by magic to be the servant son of the owner. When you have a Kumon Thong in your possession, you will be magically successful in anything you wish. By the power of Kumon Thong, you will increase your ability to get what you want. This is a very sacred and special talisman and your obedient servant. Treat it well and you will receive your wishes. Well, I've been I, get a fetus? I haven't given him anything but chimes and these were probably given him to him years ago. So he's probably really pissed and maybe if I <laughs> some more toys what if you something. sacrifice someone <laughs> and give do it to you, them? Do you want to? Do you want to be the the willing? Look at his back. Hey. Oh my god! Look at it! Wow, they did a good job. Wait, so where did you buy that? At a flea market. I got to put it back in here with his toy. So oh wow. That's cool. And it says it's a replica. We're sure yeah. that's not like a real yeah. mummified baby. Oh, oh no! He's not. <laughs> I don't. I've never seen a real mummified baby that had sprouts of hair that long. I'm, I'm trying to put him back in his cage. Sorry if you're seeing. Like, that's a good hair, point. Like up my nose. I apologize, but okay, hold on. So yeah, marker, so though, that's pretty cool. When I saw him, I, I I had to have him. I was like, I'm not leaving here without this. And I think I don't know. I think it was like 80 bucks. But I told David, I'm like, I, I, I would have it too. I would work, uh, okay. Yeah, I would buy that. Too. <laughs> um, so this know. stupid thing I've had since I was in high school. Um, I'm just pulling some shit out here now. Um, I have a friend who lives in Los Angeles now, but I met her when we worked in Ohio together in a salon. Her name is Vonda Ungurianu, and uh, she was born in Transylvania, and she's a weirdo like me. And one year for Christmas, shit, one year for Christmas, she sent me this. What the fuck? What is that? <laughs> a dog? A, a bat? A dog a, bat? A, tex a bat. A tax. A dog. So how many it's a roadkill squirrel mounted. Isn't it? Oh. Awesome? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I love him. Uh, Melissa, I bet you had no idea that I was kind of had this much weird ass shit, did you? Okay. I was told you were a witch, so yeah, up, I guess. Have, can you see those? We just have generic skulls. Yeah. Chris, crystals, generic skull. Here we have my little first taxidermy bat. Oh, see there you? is a taxidermy bat. Can you see him? No, you yeah. gotta. Wait, hold on. Oh, I can. I saw his ears. <laughs> Hold on. Look at him. Oh, he's cute. He really uh -huh. is. Um, so let me get him back in there. Don't mind the dust. Okay. This um, I bought from an uh, this I bought from an oddity shop shop store, and they mailed it to me. And this is really fucking cute. This is a, and it stinks. <laughs> oh, what well. is it? <laughs> it's a fetus, a dried up one, well, not a fetus. It's a mummified pig fetus. Oh, Isn't it's it cute? oh wow! Hi. It's amazing how when <laughs> things are bones, you can't tell what the hell they are anymore. Right? And he's in, he's in this, he's in this little glass coffin. But wait, it gets better. And Aww. also in that little glass coffin is this stinky little guy, which I was moving, and uh, there was a vase in one of my in one of my closets that was like in a basement and was sitting in the back and I pulled the vase out and there was this cute little this cute little guy in here 
What is it? <laughs> what is head? it? He fell into the base. <laughs> oh. And he couldn't get out. So now he's mine. Then I had another friend who was cleaning, <laughs> who was cleaning out underneath. Uh, she was like selling some big ass heavy something piece of furniture, and underneath her furniture was this. So Ooh. she sent this to me. This is a mummified mouse. Wait, a mouse. Okay. Hold on. Wow. He really stinks too, man. These things. I don't think the smell goes <laughs> away. Can't you like for breeze them or something? <laughs> I don't know because I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, I don't want to ruin them. So you don't want to degrade their. Yeah. yeah. So then another friend of mine got me a bat skeleton, a That's real bat cool. skeleton. He also got me that snake skeleton. Can you see it? Nope. <laughs> Is it in one of those jars? Fuckity fuck fuck. Hold on, let me pull this out. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh. Do you know what kind wow. of snake it is? It is a venomous snake skeleton. That's the kind of snake it is. <laughs> okay, it's venomous. I'm glad venomous. it's just bones then. Okay, I can't get that back in here just yet. So, um, this, I've got two of these. This, um, after we had a really big storm in Fort Myers Beach, I love to go to the beach after storms because you never know what to wash up. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Little dead, little tiny dead octopus. Look at him. Oh my God. That's so cute. <laughs> I know. That is so cute. Cool. Okay, it's just going to get weird. <laughs> God, my hand really stinks right now. Okay. Ew. So David's Smell sister, my hand. <laughs> David's sister used to work in, uh, so Sudan, uh, Minnesota is known for iron ore. They're, they're, they call it the iron range. And she used to work in the iron, in the, the uh, mine. So we went to visit down there and you take this elevator like way, 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 way down deep. And then you ride these mining carts and there's like no light. And if you turn your helmet off, it's like completely black. Anyways, she went around and dug up all these bat bones. Oh. And most of them still have fur on them. And she had a oh plastic bag. So these are all bat bones. From a mine. From the Sudan. Bat bones from a mine. From the Sudan <laughs> iron mine, yes. From the iron range of wow. the iron mine. I know, it's really, it's cool. My best friend got me this. <laughs> all right. Not bad out of here. That's cute. Okay, what is this? Oh. Um, this little guy is a bat. Wow. Is that a wet specimen? It's a yes, wet it specimen. Is. <laughs> this little guy was in my house in Minnesota, dead. So naturally, I kept. What's him. he oh. in? What did you put him in? Alcohol? Uh, you can put him in. I usually use Everclear or vodka. Wow. Guess what this is? Guess what these are? Jesus Kittles. Christ! Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Teeth? Are they teeth? Yes! I win! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I, I'm scared to ask, but where did you get a fucking thing of teeth? Okay, well, only some of them are real, and some of them are mine, and the rest... Um, some of them are yours from your mouth? Yes, there's two in here that were when I had a, just, uh, my molars pulled, a couple molars pulled, but the rest are um, fake um, from a, like a, you can buy them on these cards. They're like, you get them off oh. Etsy. Or oh, from like, like, like uh, teeth. like Wish. Wish had teeth that you could buy. Probably, Wish but these are like, these are like dentist, the like the dentist teeth. Oh, so okay. They're okay. like what the dentist would use for whatever. Okay. A long time ago in Minnesota, we had this dog named Jethro. These are his testicles. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cute they are. Wow. Because you used to, when he was <laughs> bad, you used to hold him out in front of him and be like, remember what I could do Oh, yeah, that was the dumbest fucking dog in the world. We'll have to have David on one time so he can tell you how dumb that fucking dog was. <laughs> it's a skull wow. of a... Beaver. Beaver. Oh. Beaver. oh. <laughs> the teeth. Um... 
stepdad's ashes. Another bat. Um, okay, now I have to get, I have to get my chair out because this thing is monstrously high. There's a a lot of shit in here. Okay, here's another. Tina activist. does her own stunts. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is it's that another, another octopus? octopus. Oh, By the way, when I got octopuses. these little dead ones, they were in the seaweed dead, and I did rescue a couple little octopuses that were still alive, and I'd pick them up, and I'd put them in my hand and carry them back, and one of the little bastards bit me. I still saved him, but he bit me. Um, did he bite mind. you with octopus his beak? Bite you when you have them in the palm of your hand. They have like a little beak, and they a beak. bite you. Yes, oh. but don't ever touch up the touch the yellow ones with the blue rings because those will kill you. Um, oh my god! Yes, those were just tiny little everyday octopuses. Okay, here's a big one from David's hunting days. I said, please bring one of these back for me when you hunt. Is there liquid in there? Oh, there is. Mm -hmm. It's a wet specimen. What is it, though? It's a heart. Hold on. The lid was coming off, and the last thing I want to do is drop yes. it. It's a deer heart. Whoa. That's crazy. It's pretty cool. Okay. That's cool. Um, This little guy was murdered uh, by stinky chihuahuas. I need to change the fluid in here. It's a little baby bunny. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. I had to go fetch him, and he sat in the freezer for months until God damn, to, uh, Chi Chi, who was until I was able to <laughs> get some shit for him. So, Cookie, you never met Cookie, Melissa, I don't think, but she was my little Chihuahua that was uh, eleven years old, and we had her put down not that long ago. Anyways, her last pregnancy, she had one puppy. And when she birthed it, it was dead. So this is a chihuahua. Aww. This is my grand it's chihuahua. It's a chi chihuahua. It's my, <laughs> my grand chihuahua. Oh. Yeah. I was so sad. I had my best friend and one of my other friends over, too, because I was so excited. I'm like, you got to come over. Cookie's getting ready to have her baby. And they were like, we'll be right there. And then, oh, it was sad. All right, what is this? Oh, this is one of the frogs that was constantly getting in my mom's swimming pool and dying. <laughs> leopard frog. Yeah. Wow. Um, oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, no. No, that had to happen. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Um, so. Whoa. They're curled. What am I looking at? They're oh. Feet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see that now. They're real crow feet. That's cool. Yes. Uh, I think I could have way more stuff if I just had like jars and alcohol. Because I find weird jars stuff. Jars are in the place where you can find this kind of shit. But I, that's what I'm saying. I had like a possum one time mummified on our lanai that was like under a bunch of stuff. So you had a kid. Wow. This is the owner of the feet. Oh. <laughs> they didn't Whoa. come as one unit. <laughs> well, I was, you know, I'm going to work one day and I saw him dead in the neighbor's yard and his wings were like all flopped open and shit. And I was like, I was like, if, if that's there when I'm done with work, if it's still there, when I come home from work, I'm going to walk the dogs over there and I'm going to get it. So he was there <laughs> and I'm like trudging my ass over there with the dogs and a big old bag to scoop up this dead bird out of the neighbor's yard. Okay, I got to scoop my chair over. And then when David got home, I'm like, David, I know it's your birthday. <laughs> I, really need, I really need you to chop this thing's feet and head off. <laughs> Happy birthday, David. And he did it. So, um, okay, these are really heavy. Tell me when you can, can you see what's in there? Uh, I can see, but not what's in there. Okay. Or I, I guess I don't know what's in there. Like, I, yeah, I see like a squishy looking pale thing. Okay, when you have your yeah. uterus removed, they send it to uh, be biopsied. So they slice it up. Here's my uterus. 
Whoa. Wow. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you can see some of the like fibroids that are in it, but yeah. So oh, I didn't get to keep mine. I guess it, see, I just missed the opportunities. I didn't you ask for it. Yeah, you got to ask for that shit. And then I had to sign a whole bunch of papers saying, you know, why do you, she's like, why do you want it? I said, I, it's mine. I grew I came in with it. I'm walking out with dealing it. Because, with it all yeah. these years. It's causing all this misery. I want to keep it. And yeah. so, because I had so many fibroids, um, I have dubbed him F-E-L-D's after that hunchback thing in 300. That's his name. So... <laughs> 300 and yeah. appropriate when they ask you what you need it for you should just say spell work spell i do work. i want it um okay <laughs> then in this jar which is really heavy this one right here uh-huh is my hedgehog oh <laughs> whoa <laughs> so that that's what i'm saying alcohol if i have more alcohol <laughs> That concludes that, unless you want to look up at the top. Can you see the top? Kind of. Oh, Are those dolls? You see them? Do you have a creepy yeah. doll collection? That's my, it's my witch collection, and there's more over here. So um, let me. Y'all keep going. I'll be right back. I'm going to take this thing off my head. It's giving me a headache. Um, but now I'm going to take you to the, to the, witch's, the witch's cabinet. So, I mean. Pretty self. Are these all like replica skulls that you have? Yes, I don't have a real skull, unfortunately. A guy offered me a real skull for my uterus, but it didn't have a lower jaw, so I was like, "Fuck that!" And then David was like, "That's like, well, fuck you can buy a skull anytime you want to, but you'll never have your uterus." True. I'm like, you're right. It's true. Um, this is the vase that trapped that little shrew or mouse or whatever it was in the very bottom of it, where he mummified. Oh. Uh. Um, let's see here. These are in my voodoo doll collection. Are they real voodoo dolls? Um, yeah. Or like... They're all from New Orleans. One's from Rachel. This one. Cool. I believe it's this one. Um, but yeah, they're all. And then I have more up here that I just got recently. I don't know if wow. you can see them. Can you see them? And those are all voodoo dolls? Yes. The, they come from a place called uh, called uh, Voodoo Authentica. It's in the French Quarter. Um, a couple of them That's came from cool. Marie Laveau's Voodoo Shop, but I like Voodoo mm -hmm. Authentica. Um, so here we have this from this cat. Oh. <laughs> Wait, so what kind of store? Like, if I wanted to go find something like that, uh, what what would I need to look up like what kind of store is it called? You probably want to go to an audit, what, an oddities uh, show. Oddities. What state are you okay. in? Like an oddities convention? Texas. Um. Okay, I'm sure they have one, so I'll definitely look. There's a listing for one like ours. I think is in November, but they just put out the newest listing of the the thing, so you can go there. It's a lot of money. Okay. That shit is expensive. That's why I try to find, like, I'll, I'll save if there's one thing that I really want, then I'll try and save up for it. But most of the stuff I try to, like, source on my own. Um, so, like, a lot of this shit I've had since high school. But a oh, lot wow. of stuff That's is lie. given to me <laughs> by wonderful, wonderful friends. So What's that one? They're little monarch butterflies. So let's see. It's hard to see. So then up here we just have some magic shit. <laughs> just some okay. magic shit. Yeah. Okay. And here um, we have the crystal ball. We have, I don't know if you can see what's in here. Tell me when you can see. Can you see anything? I can see a Ouija board. Ouija board? Ouija yeah. board. Now, can you see? Or does it have to go out? <laughs> Wait a minute. It's hard to see. It's hard to see. There. Okay. Wait, Wait actually, can on. you turn it um, uh, horizontal, uh, horizontal? How's that? There we go. Now, can you see? Hold on. Let me oh, wow. Okay. Where's my... Yeah, we okay. can see the whole shelf now. 
Yeah. Crystal ball. Ooh, crystal ball. Uh -huh. Knives. A little bit of, you know, moon water. You got to make that all the time. Uh huh. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Cauldron. Wand. Nice. Wow. Um, real cauldron. I wish I had a big giant one, but can you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A big giant one, but. Is that another skull? Where? To the right of it? Or am I just seeing skulls now? <laughs> I, well, I have a lot of <laughs> when skulls. When there's shadows, I'm just imagining there's I, skulls. I have a lot of skulls, so you, you probably. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is really cool. I wish I had a collection of something. I don't. Um, I bought this from a, a chick that sells oddities online a while back. Can you see them? Is it bird, bird cage? Wait. Are they oh, bats? bats. Yes. And the little tea lights go Ooh. in it. And so you can light it up. It's a little hanging. Wow. Are those real bats? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, there's a oddities uh, something market on March 10th. It's and probably see, there it, it's probably what is it called? Um, it's called obscure. Well, obscure Houston yeah. oddities market. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one that, that oh, Rachel and I just okay. went to. If you can go, go. It's uh -huh. they're so cool. They have some of the 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 coolest stuff is in there ever. And uh, it, it's is there just, anything you're missing on in your collection? Uh, eyeball or do you just like cool i would shit? love uh, a uh, vintage i want a vintage glass eye or like one of those vintage okay. <laughs> um you know you know this is things i hunt for you know those well, you're, you're kind of young maybe you don't but back in the day if you got your face blown off they would like make a pair of glasses and then just hang this like flap of like half human looking face on it <laughs> you might have an eyeball with it today they snap them into your face but before you know so one of those like half face. <laughs> if you ever watch, um, if you ever watch the Those Empire, there's a guy in there that has that. You'll know that. <laughs> um, do -do. And then it, 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 here's a couple of really disgusting books. Womb. Oh yeah. Oh, that one. That was one that I remember listening to, and I was like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> and crazy. Dead inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, one doctor likes to eat. Didn't you say you got a new one? Yes, I did. Hold on, let me go get it. I'm gonna put you. Have down. you started it? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> but I haven't picked it back up because I've been like super busy. Let me see pre-sale tickets. <clears throat> you should go for real, even just to like look around. I'm thinking. Do you ever watch that show Oddities? Are you ready? Mm -mm. Yes, I love that show, Oddity. Yeah. I would love to see it. I loved it. Cows. Oh, Jesus. Oh. I can't. What is that? Oh, Cows. <laughs> I One feel the like there's some kind of birth involved. Insightful books ever written on the subject of alienation and societal decay. Cows is a violent, blood oh. nightmare. A tale of love, self-empowerment, and talking cows. What can go wrong? I mean, I'm kind of on board. <laughs> Me too. I have no idea what that means, well, but yeah, let's do it. So far, <laughs> so far, it's just some crazy bitch that's real abusive. Oh, by the way, Melissa. So I'm in it. <laughs> so far, Melissa's in this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> what kind yeah. of air friends? I kind of just want to take He's photos of myself and just have them all. vehicle to um, use <laughs> Oh, here's, here's a couple other cool things. These. These. Mm -hmm. Are those are, headstones? Yes, they're, uh, I bought them at an auction. They're, they're vintage rubbings of headstones. And this one. Oh, headstones. Yes. The, and this, the first one says Memento Mori. And they're spelled really weird back then. Here lies the body of Helen Cumming, daughter of John Cumming, Esquire. And Mrs. Abigail, his wife, who died September 24th, 1759, in the fifth year of her Whoa. age. Fifth year of her age. Uh, 
fresh as the morning fragrant bud something something blown so that's a it's kind of sad wow it's just the top memento mori it says here lies the remains of Colonel James Minot, which is really weird because I bought these in Minnesota, and Minot is a town in like South Dakota or North Dakota. Dakota. Uh. Colonel James Minot, Esquire, who departed this life February 6, 1759. And here lies in the body of Mrs. Anna Monroe, widow of Mr. Robert Monroe, who was slain by the enemy on the 19th of April, 1775, who departed this life August 20th, 1775. In something in her 57th Revolutionary seventh War. year of her age. Yeah. Oh, that was cool. They used to be very wordy on those things. <laughs> yeah. I think that's why people like to do the rubbings of them because they don't make headstones like that anymore. They're just super boring now. I went to one in, I think it was Alabama or Georgia, and it was really old, and there were so many children. It was like a, I felt like oh. it was a children's cemetery. Well, you know why? Because we didn't I have think it was tuberculosis or, you know, good Kids were dying from yellow fever, cholera, dysentery. Oh, right. Yeah. Plague, um, you know, mm -hmm. typhoid, tuberculosis, so... Yeah, it, it was just people didn't live very long. So, yeah, I kind of want to show that to some of like the people that don't want to vaccinate their kids. I'm like, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like these these kids didn't have vaccines. And they're all fucking dead. No, when, they, when their vaccines have been around for like since the since Madam Curry, I'm all for it. Nobody wants chicken pox and smallpox and rickets. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. They're like. You can't die of that. And I'm like, How, maybe like read some you books, guys. I want to read yeah. some books. You can definitely die from smallpox and in like, a village. So, yeah. yeah. Mm. So, that's but yeah, they did. They used to write like the whole story of the person's life, death. Now they have like Anderson in a year. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys ever been to Philadelphia to the Mutter Museum? No. And I'm pissed because I want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> they have this amazing wall of skull. They don't let you take pictures in there, but they have this amazing wall of skulls. And there's like little plaques under each skull. <clears throat> and they all have like names and shit underneath them. But if you read them all, they're, mm -hmm. they're pretty fucking funny. Like one skull, and I swear to God, this is no lie. One skull had like so-and-so village idiot. <laughs> they just i mean they were just they were his, they were they were hysterical i can't i'm not gonna lie village idiot yeah what if you go on on ancestry.com and you do all this stuff and you're like oh okay my so great, i guess great, my great family great was, yeah. <laughs> village idiot i come from a long line of idiots <laughs> <laughs> they also in the in that museum do they have like um like actual like babies, like what specimen yeah. baby babies? All those famous babies that you see photos of, like the two that's in there and shit. That's where they're all kept because the Mutter Museum was a, um, a medical college, you yeah. know, in Philadelphia, oh. and so now it's 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 it houses all these oddities. And not only that, mm -hmm. but outside they have this amazing, amazing fucking garden and everything in it is deadly. Oh my um, God. There's all kinds of civil war bones with, with like saw marks in there from amputations or like bullets that are still stuck in like the leg bone or oh, um, wow. <laughs> drawers and drawers of weird shit from this doctor's collection of weird shit that people have swallowed over the millennia. Um, well, that's so crazy. They they need to have that, but for like, because I hear lots of stories about <laughs> things pulled out of. Well, I I heard a a Kong, you know, a Kong dog toy, the big one, the big, the biggest one. <laughs> I heard the guy getting a a giant, a big, yes, like Aquanet, Jeez. like Aquanet, yes. <laughs> um, so I was putting my hair into place for good hold, and I fell, and I was naked. Right. And, but the nurses will say that they they were talking like, "How did this mayonnaise jar end up in your?" 
they'd be like, well, I was unpacking my food and I was naked. And they're like, you put this jar up your ass. <laughs> I'd, be like, yes, no. I'd, be, I'd be like, do you know how many times I hear that when somebody comes in with no? Although my ex wow. did use a bidet one time because we were out of the country, and I was like, ooh, a bidet. And I he went in there and he was like, I ought to take a break out of shit because he was gross. And then he used the bidet, and I just heard screaming because it he just turned it on full blast and it was hot as shit and just burned. <laughs> <laughs> And whenever I get sad, I just think about that. Well, I love you both. And um, good luck with your move. And I'll see you in April, Melissa. Okay. All right. Love you. Bye.